maybe get disappointed when they don't get accepted into a show like this, but the, you, you always have to remember that it's a one day, one person's uh, vision, and, and it's not really any kind of a statement of, against someone's work. Um, so I know there was some disappointment because when you have so many works submitted, we had 238 works submitted, and we only have 83 works on the wall, and if you do the math, that's like a, a little bit better than a third got in. So there's a lot of disappointment, and I really feel bad for that. I wish we had unlimited space, we could show a lot more, but we really didn't. Um, so uh, of the 83 works that were shown, I think there was 53 unique, yes, 53 artists who are on display. So um, anyone who did get in should be very proud of themselves. Anyone who didn't get in, uh, and if you know someone that might not have gotten in is a little disappointed, you should just reinforce that it's really not about what they're doing or the work that they produced. It's really about just somebody's opinion and just Submit the next time, and you never know. You can never second guess a juror's mind. We've all been we through. We tell each other that all the time. Yeah, we all ourselves. <laughs> Those of us who teach here all know that we've done this millions. I mean, the amount of rejections you get is just something that you have to expect. It just is part of the game. So, um, anyway, without any further ado, um, I'm going to turn it over to Jackie. Jackie. Start off. Yeah. All right. So the first award goes to Caesar Charlotte, and he was for the poster that he designed for the show. That was a competition in itself. In which class was that? Uh, design, it's design, 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 no. design, design, yeah. design, design two. The class ran a contest, and the faculty all voted on the poster choices. So we have an award for him for that honor. And he's hunting around, but I don't see him. But Caesar, and if anyone's in a class with him, he is just that guy that's quiet, always hard working in the corner, and then he pulls out these amazing pieces that just blow everyone away, so I'm so happy for him. All right, I have um, some material awards for five students in the show that several of us um, went through the gallery and talked through it and talked about that student's strengths and maybe some materials that would support them in their artistic development. So I have, um, I have several awards here. The first one is for Tanner Walsh. Is Tanner here? I haven't seen him yet. And this is for his gold framed gouache in the other room. But we can give him a round of applause. I also have a material award for um, another beautiful abstraction right to the right of Tanner's Stavi Door. <laughs> okay, um, the next recipient is not here. I think she had to work tonight. She was in class and stuff this morning. Now she's like working all night, taking care of sick relatives also. Um, she does it all. Rianne and Olette. here either I think the same situation mm -hmm. working a lot working like full-time and taking classes um, Evan Caldwell <laughs> and for the, the gold piece the gold uh, leaf piece right over there in the corner and I know that the next artist is here uh, Rocio Mathis Can you point out where your piece is? Because now it's hung. Down there. And down there. It's the pain. Oh, yes, it's the head of the, in, the, in the first section over there. That's the perfect striking design. Not the glasses. All right. So, congratulations to those material winners. And now I'll introduce. Um, Jackie Decker, who is our Visual Fine Arts Program Coordinator for the Faculty Select Awards. All right, so faculty came in and we met and just looked through the show and tried to pick great examples in different categories. The first faculty select award is for Megan Liz Winsky. Yep, and it's this one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Jim Desiree's drawing one class, and I saw this self-portrait hanging on the wall, and I said, "Who is that? It's you have to put it in the show." And it's just so exciting to see someone who's starting their journey and drawing one, and to come up with a piece like that. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
the next um, faculty select winner is Susanna, and mm. it is for her deer that's made out of fruits and vegetables and organic material. <laughs> Next on the list for the cat painting is Joe Lewis. I could just say a little story that maybe he doesn't want me to share, but what I love about Joe Lewis is that painting is like breathing for him. He just would not live without painting every day. And one time he just said to me, you know, I just had to move my bed out of my bedroom to make room for canvases. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is Chelsea Elizabeth Saunders. <laughs> and the Chelsea's is the photograph portrait with the uh, and I'll, I'll introduce, if anybody doesn't know, this is um, Amy Fest, our academic dean here at Tunxis, acting academic dean, and she's doing great things on campus, and she's here to announce um, an exciting project that's actually not part of the show, but we're going to make the surprise announcement tonight. I'm so glad to see so many people here. Um, and I am actually, President LaBelle asked me to send his wishes. He wanted to be here really badly today. We, um, President LaBelle is also the president of his nunchuck, and he was already scheduled for a meeting there this afternoon, so to come back down was kind of impossible to make it on time, but he actually has gone through the gallery already to see the work and is planning on working with Carrie on to meet some of the students, so, um, so hello from him. And I, when I, I've been here at Tungsis now for about nine, ten years, and um, I've worked with Carrie Ann and had a great journey along the way. And when I came into this role this semester as the acting academic dean, um, one of the things that Carrie Ann and I talked about is taking our, our main administrative building hallway and doing something with it for all of the people who come through there to make it more exciting and um, to really showcase our students. And so Carrie Ann and the faculty in the art department have been working on helping us to, to put together some student artwork that will be featured as a permanent exhibit in that hallway in the one. 100 building so for your admissions and records and all that boring that stuff is that boring long hallway where that's all just brick right now we want to make it exciting and vibrant especially for students who are touring to thinking about coming here to show them kind of the great things that we do so Carrie Ann has worked with the faculty and have um, identified six different students who both exemplify um, the creativity but also have a high academic standing. They are also the stellar students in their classes within the art program um, and they are getting either graduating this semester or very close to graduating um, and they will be working with these six students to help them to identify pieces of work that will be then made into part of this permanent exhibit. So their work may not be here right now this moment but they're students that they'll be working with over the next couple of weeks actually now. Mm -hmm. And so the six students are, and I'm horrible at pronouncing names, I put that up there in the beginning, um, Sarah Disabella. Sorry. I have all the, for the, the six artists that are going to be announced, I have all the information about the project in here. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Ariel. Ariel Peace. Peace. Yep. Yeah. 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 And Susanna Jablonska. And Alexis Rodriguez. And Susan Kraus. And lastly, Jared DeFeo. I haven't seen him. We're very, very excited. It's going to add so much to the college as a permanent exhibit, and we can't wait to see what the pieces look like. And I want to. And we're going to have a big opening reception this summer, kind of ribbon cutting. Yeah. So stay tuned. All the artists will be commemorated with a plaque to permanently installed. So yeah, I love my job. Thank you. All right, before we go on to the um, the juror awards, the awards that the, the juror of the show selected, I just have a couple of announcements. I have so many attentive ears. <laughs> um, one exciting thing, if you have been following us on Instagram or Facebook, you know about some of these, but um, we have a big grant to take a bus full of students to the Florence Griswold Museum on May 5th. 
The trip is totally free. Um, leaving here at 9.30 in the morning, coming back about 3.30. The trip includes your bus ride, tour of the museum, admission, a really nice lunch, like it's not gonna be a cheap lunch, <laughs> and plein air painting supplies, and we're gonna bring along all of our new travel easels, and we're gonna go paint on the grounds. Oh. So there are 15 seats left. Oh. After the award ceremony's done, I have the sign-up sheet. So you could come sign up. This week, it's only open to Tunks' art students, art and design. Next week, we're gonna open up to the, the broader population at Tunksus. So if you wanna see it and you're an art student, you should come see me tonight, okay? So I hope to see some of you there. Something else that's exciting, um, on Friday, May 11th, we are organizing a, a event called Your Future in the Arts. It's a career workshop for people in graphic design, photography, and fine arts. We're gonna have some fine arts schools at the program to talk about transferring and talk about the value of a bachelor's degree and continuing your education and talk about successful alumni and then we're also going to have a graphic designer, a gallery owner, a representative from a museum, a couple other professionals there to talk very candidly about their career, how they got to where they are, the ins and outs and all that. And then there'll be, we're, we're working on lunch right now, we're saying no food but we hope to get some funding for that and um, there'll be a chance to have one-on-one -on -one uh, meetings with each of, the, each of the professionals and portfolio reviews with the schools. Right now it's going to be at the Hartford Art School and Central because those are some of our biggest transfer institutions. Again, sign up with me, okay? <laughs> um, we also, if you know about those, then maybe you're following us on Instagram. Just a little plug for tungsis.art at Instagram. Everybody at this show is probably already on there because I've been posting since the <laughs> opening started. So follow us. We're going to hopefully have some contests this summer and and we have been posting daily student artwork and fun things going on in the department. Um, speaking of our incredible department, we would not have um, some of the talent in this room and some of the work here framed and some of the projects ha have happened without the incredible art faculty that we have at Tunxis. Can I have all the faculty come forward? Is Teaches lots of things, um, and you're not in there. Part, no. Sorry, Amy came from the business department before she came here. And Arthur Samoa's in photography, and Gary Jacobs does color, design principles, drawing, and Hunter Neal uh, specializing in photography. So I know that some of you love these faculty, and we're so lucky to have the incredible people that we have in our department. So thank you. We have a very special award recipient here tonight to honor, um, who needs a giant round of applause, but hold that for a second. Someone who truly plays a huge part in making Tunxis an amazing place to learn and work, who was just named the Connecticut Board of Regents System-wide <laughs> Adjunct Teaching <laughs> Award recipient <laughs> for 2018. <laughs> So every adjunct faculty member at all of the community colleges in the state of Connecticut are eligible. And they pick one from all the nominees to be the winner. So it's not like a Tungsis thing, it's like the entire state. The so whole state. It is okay. an honor to have our I think, I think that confirms what we already know, which is we have the best at Tungsis. Absolutely. Yes. Students and faculty. Speech. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have to give out awards. I'm about the color of Jess's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> now awards. Yeah, um, now Arthur is going to give out the no, much anticipated right. juror awards. Yeah, so much anticipated juror awards. I'm going to hand this over to my, oh, my, my other half. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, so the juror is a person who's very established in uh, the art community. Um, and once again, as I said earlier, it's a person that comes through and has a particular vision and a particular sensibility. So this is how we got this beautiful uh, grouping of works on the wall. It's a, it's a process. It is a process. It took us about four-ish hours on a Saturday afternoon to come in here to sort through all this stuff. Because it's not easy. There's so much good stuff that you have to like put on the wayside because there's just so much stuff to go through. So. It's not an easy process, but we are very pleased with how he went about this process and the choices that he made. So first off, I'd like to give the uh, photography award, and that award goes to Megan Alexander. The award, I also want to thank Megan. She, she donated some of her time to help uh, do some of the organization and installation of the show, which is very, very appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you. And for painting, I think Ar Ariel is not here, but Ariel Peace also uh, got the painting award, and she's not here, but we want to make sure she knows this, so congratulations to her. For uh, draw, uh, for 3D, we have Joseph Guerrera. I saw Joseph. <laughs> for drawing, we have Dante Shirell. <laughs> And for the graphic design award, Pamela Martin. She's not here. Okay. She had her car broke down. Okay. But oh, I was oh, here. Oh, we'll help maybe fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so it never hurts. And finally, no, not finally, we have uh, two more. No, okay, two more. Yes, we have two okay. more. Uh, for digital art, it is Sally Valencourt, where I saw Sally. I know she did. Congratulations. Yeah. Here you go. That's for you. Thank you. <laughs> and last but not least, for best in show, it is Susan Krauss. For this beautiful group of encaustics around the side of that pillar. Very beautiful. So, um, well, that's it for the awards. Thank you all for coming. Appreciate your support, and uh, keep up the good work, everyone. Yeah.